गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ लास्ट टेंथ साइंस नेम्ड केमिकल रिएक्शंस एंड इक्वेशंस इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल एनालाइज द डिफरेंट केमिकल रिएक्शंस व्हिच हैपन इन अवर एवरीडे लाइफ एंड देयर इंपैक्ट ऑन अवर एवरीडे लाइफ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कंसीडर कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग सिचुएशन which happen in our everyday life and think what happens when a milk is left at room temperature during summers what happen if we left uh, uh, room uh, if we left milk in room temperature and what happen if an iron is exposed with humid air and water and what happen if food is cooked and what happen we will respire what happen when uh, food is getting digested in our body so all such uh, all such things in uh, living beings and non living beings they are happening due to certain chemical reactions so chemical reactions are the method or the phenomena in which a one substance is changed into another substance is called chemical reactions in different different area they are different different chemical reaction so in all the above situation which we have read before the nature and the identity of the initial substance have somewhat changed and when the identity of any substance is getting changed it means the chemical as well as physical reactions are taken place if there is no identity change happen it means there is no chemical and reactions chemical or physical reaction taking place let's do an activity to recognize the chemical reactions and what happen after the reaction so activity first this activity is need the teacher assistant first of all we need to understand why activity is doing or we will do with this activity under uh, teacher guidance because this activity are so dangerous which include so many uh, so many equipment so many fire equipment so it is dangerous for us so take a clean magnesium ribbon that is a clean uh, that is a clean magnesium ribbon and uh, rubbing it with sandpaper which rub already with the sandpaper hold it with a pair of tongs so this is a uh, tong or pair of tong we can say burn it using a spirit lamp or burner and collect the ash so form in a watch glass as shown in figure 1.1 so that is a burner and that is a flame uh, above this flame there is a presence of magnesium ribbon so what happen after some time the burning of magnesium ribbon in air and collection of magnesium oxide in a watch glass so in this activity the burning of magnesium ribbon happen on above the this glass or this watch glass and the ash of this magnesium ribbon is collected on this particular on this particular glass slab or particular watch glass so directly the conversion of magnesium ribbon into the ash is called the physical change and chemical change which is occur due to the reaction and the reaction is occur due to presence of fire so uh, in this particular activity you must have observed that magnesium ribbon burns with the magnesium oxide and form and formed magnesium and oxygen present in the air so this magnesium ribbon burns with the dazzling white flame and change into the white powder the white magnesium ribbon is converted into white powder that is called the physical as well as chemical change of this uh, particular magnesium ribbon so this powder is magnesium oxide and it is formed due to the reaction between magnesium and oxygen 
present in the air oxygen is a must to change any chemical or physical change taking place in any kind of uh, uh, kind of substance so there is another activity which analyze the chemical as well as physical change occurs on any substance due to presence of various uh, favorable condition or we can say unfavorable condition so activity 1.2 take lead nitrate solution in a test tube add and add potassium iodide solution to this so what is do you observe all the activity 1.3 recognize always that take a few zinc granules in a conical flask or test tube add dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid to this so so in this figure 1.2 we take zinc granules and add dilute sulfuric acid into it and that is the cork which is completely blocked the passing of the passing of uh, another substance or uh, gas gaseous particle so after then after few minutes what happened from the above three activities we can say that any the following observations helps us to determine the whether a chemical reaction has taken place so after some time what happened the hydrogen gas released from zinc granules is going upside in a conical flux and which occurs due to chemical presence of chemical change and as well as physical change so these all chemical reaction occur due to change in the state of any substance change in the color of any substance evolution of a gas and change in the temperature in the formation of hydrogen gas by the action of dilute sulfuric acid what happen there is evolution of hydrogen gas there is evolution of this particular hydrogen gas which change the state of zinc granules zinc granules are in the form of solid but when we mix dilute sulfuric acid when we mix dilute sulfuric acid in zinc granules the the uh, solid uh, the solid particle of zinc granules is directly converted into hydrogen gas so uh, there is a change in the state of uh, substance there is a evolution of gas from the substance so or we can say that that is a chemical reaction occurred between sulfuric dilute sulfuric acid and zinc granules so uh, in this particular uh, lecture we analyze from different activity uh, by doing different activity that how uh, chemical reactions taking place between two substance and why chemical reactions are necessary to convert one state of a substance to the other state of a substance in the next lecture we will analyze the chemical equations taking place due to presence of chemical reactions